Ukraine is keen to show its air force in action. But these aging jets lack modern weapons. It makes shooting down Russian targets much harder. One pilot took time out from the cockpit to pitch for Western planes, like the American F-16. Uh, you could be a, a real hero. Uh, you can be um, a very uh, professional pilot, but uh, with, uh, without the proper tools, without the proper hardware, you can't do uh, anything to, to increase your capabilities. So you need, you need these proper tools to be really, really deadly. But what jets would make a difference? You say Western jets, but which ones? <clears throat> so F-16 is, uh, is, is the best, best solution uh, exactly right here, right now. Oh, and what about um, British jets? Typhoons, uh, it's, it's, very, it's very capable jet. Uh, but in, uh, it, at the same time, it's very expensive and uh, it's uh, very limited in number. On a trip to the UK this week, Ukraine's president urged Britain to give his country jets. But in reality, Rishi Sunak has very little to offer. I don't think the UK will be, will be sending any jets. The typhoon is complicated. There is not the full European supply chain as there is for, for, the, for the F-16. We haven't got that many F-35s and they cost about 100, mil, they cost about 100 million each and we're already stretched uh, to meet our, to, to, to meet our, our commitments uh, at the moment. In a reminder of what's at stake, missiles punched through Ukraine's air defences on Friday. A residential area was damaged in Kyiv and strikes smashed into energy infrastructure. It's a relentless cycle that Ukraine can't stop alone. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Dnipro.